this is my take on my love of taking chicken fingers, like really crappy ones, and dipping them into broccoli cheddar soup. But I just made it a little yes! bit more grown up. <laughs> Woo! I am all about everything you just said. My mother's Sicilian, <laughs> but I started out in Cape Cod, and then I grew up in upstate New York. And we get the broccoli cheddar soup, my friend. Yes. Uh, yeah. We certainly get chicken fingers. <laughs> So, th so the beauty about this recipe is, is that you can buy a bag of already fluoridated broccoli if you don't really want to use a knife. You don't have to use a knife. That's totally fine. However you get to the final product, that is your journey, your path. I am just here to hopefully give you something that you end up liking at the finish line. So um, for the batter, what I like to do is chickpea flour because I love the way it tastes. I think it's a, it adds a little bit of nuttiness and roundness that you wouldn't normally get from all-purpose flour. I mix that with a little rice flour, soda water. I like to use San Pellegrino. I work with them very closely, but whatever sparkling water you prefer, feel free to use that. And ice, because as you know, um, the colder your frying batter is going into the, into the oil, yeah. the crispier your outcome will be. And I love that it's available everywhere now. People have no excuse not to discover all these new ingredients for eating with new diets. There's pescatarians, flexitarians, vegans, vegetarians. The chickpea flour is delicious, people. Yes, and I love how it has a little bit of grit to it. So it holds on to the sauce. It really lends itself to a nicer texture, I find. And I know a lot of people are a little nervous to fry at home, which I totally understand. I was too for yeah. a very long time. <laughs> But so long as your oil never reaches a place where it's smoking, you're in an okay, perfect area for deep frying at home that really isn't really dangerous or you should be scared of it in any way. So I just kind of took it right from the batter, dropped it in. I'm going to cook it until it gets a little bit crispy. Um, and you can kind of tell, where's a good camera here? Ooh, there it is. Uh, where you see the broccoli, Beautiful. the batter is light. And you don't ever need it to get brown brown right? Because chickpea right. and rice flour never actually turned completely golden. The broccoli looks amazing. And look, we gave it magically just exactly the right amount of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I have um, this cheese sauce. So I start with, you know, the mother of all mother sauces to me is the bechamel. So we add, yes. uh, we take that milk, uh, thicken it with the roux. I add Gruyere cheese. You can use whatever cheese, sharp cheddar. If you want to throw a little mozzarella in for that big pull, Go ahead, yeah. by all means, again, a recipe is a roadmap. It's not your it's not your definitive direction. So, so I take the cheese, I pull it into the bottom. I load in this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, crispy chickpea fried broccoli. And then as if it couldn't get any better, um, the meat portion of my chicken fingers, you have the batter, you have the cheese sauce, you have the broccoli. Then I take really thinly sliced prosciutto and just kind of lay it over the top. Wow. So that Whoa. Yeah. Yes. 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 Everything about it. <laughs> and then, you know, because everything needs a little bit of a garnish and I love a parsley leaf, the bites, the freshness, the greenery that it brings. Yes. I just kind of I fresh. parsley on everything. Thank you. Yes. Uh, and then if you wanted to squeeze a nice bit of lemon, I mean, throw some shaved black truffles during black truffle season, white truffles, whatever, again, or just eat it just like this, you are, you are ready to go.